Hi, you guys. So really quick, this is keeping it 100 with you guys, okay? Because not just as a couponer, but as a shopper, okay? If you are one that tried to save money any way you can, don't leave money behind, okay? So let me tell you what I did today. I was watching Meek's Coupon Life. She went to um she went to Publix today and she bought the X. Publix has um X on sale two for eight. I bought mine on clearance a couple days ago. But what she mentioned was there was like these, it's not in the ad, it's like a separate flyer. Comes in like this, and it has coupons in here that you have to clip out. It cannot be digital, and you have to punch in a number. So let me show you one. So like, say for, for this Thermacare one, you have to give it, they'll punch in this little LU number, and then you get that savings off. There was one for X, two off of two. Now, I told in Meek's, I left a, a comment in Meek's video. I'm like, well, thank you for sharing because I bought, I had bought my X. And I didn't, I was thinking, I was even planning on buying X. So I didn't even look into this. But I said, you know what? I bought it within the time frame that's on the front, which this is effective between these dates. And I'm, so, I'm going to go back and get my $2. Now, I will say, probably not all stores will do it. I don't know. Publix does it. Kroger does it. So, basically, I showed you guys. This is where I bought my X. It's right here. It's right here. X. And this is from me returning. Not returning it. I just basically told her, I said, I forgot that. There was a coupon for it, and I would like my $2. All they did was punch it in and give me my $2 back. Same thing at Kroger's. If a digital doesn't come off or something like that, or if you do like the five, five off of five items, if you don't buy all the five items, you can still go back and get your savings by buying the extra two or three items that you needed to meet that requirement. Or they always give you the money back like I did that for the big. I didn't show you guys my a different Kroger haul. But they ended up giving me back $4 because the digital one, I didn't have a digital clipped. I thought I did. I didn't. I was in a store with my son one day. And it was just like out of the blue. I didn't have a list. So I was kind of flustered, you know, as a kid. He doesn't want to be in the store long. So I went back to the store a couple days later. Let them know, hey... I have the digital clip now. I would like to get my money back. And they just want me to show them the, the you know, the receipt and so forth. So do not leave money behind. What I was seeing, and the reason I'm saying this, you guys, is because um, I was seeing, I see a lot of videos like this. They like, oh, a digital didn't come off. Not all stores will allow it. Like CVS. There was an issue one time when I bought Tide and the Tide Digital did not come off. I called customer service. Customer service said, there's nothing we can do. That's as a courtesy. So if the digital doesn't come off, we can't help you. And I'm like, you guys are offering the digital. I just left it at that. But you just never know. Go back to these stores. Tell them, hey, I forgot to give you the guys this coupon. Um... But the other reason why I wanted to mention this is because that is $2. $2 is $2. <laughs> it gets you a loaf of bread, a dollar loaf of bread, and some eggs. <laughs> if you go penny shopping at Dollar General, that's 100 items. But one thing I was seeing that a lot of people was talking about, um, a lot of people did their family dollar um, hauls. And one thing I kept seeing, even in the comments, there was that one family dollar uh, coupon that was for gain, and it included all of the different gain things. But then there were other gain items or gain coupons. And for every, seemed like for everybody, all the other separate gain coupons attached, but this particular one that included everything did not attach. And I showed you guys in my family dollar haul, I went back in 
return the item and have them ring it up separately to make sure that digital attach. Don't be afraid to do that. If they don't want to just give you money to say, hey, okay, that's fine by me. Let me return the item, get all of my full money back, and I'll just repurchase it from you and get the discounted money. So if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do. But don't leave money behind. Don't keep thinking, oh, man. Um, oh, man. <laughs> I'm without this coupon. I'm without $2. I missed out on $2. Take a step back because I will say the only place that will give you some issues with the return is CVS if you're paying with extra cure bucks. The reason why um, I made the return of that Tide, I did make the return of that Tide from CVS one time. And because I paid with extra cure bucks, I didn't get all my money back. So even if and I had an issue with that. And they said, you can go back into the store. And I, at that point, this is when I was off of work, you guys. I was just wasn't right mentally to even try to go into it and explain it. I was just wasn't there. But yeah, you guys, don't leave money behind. Don't be afraid. These are, I'm just sharing scenarios. I saved $2 because guess what? You may forget you have a coupon or there's a printable, you forgot to print it out, or something like that, you know? If you bought it within that week, present that coupon. Return the item, buy it again, get the difference. Um, But yeah, that's everything I wanted to share. Luna, you want to say hi to the people? Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, come, come here, Luna. Uh-huh. Hi, say hi to the people. Look, right there. Say hi. You say hi? She's been a good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. But tell everybody, don't leave money behind, right? Don't leave money behind. Get your money. Mommy knows. Mommy knows. All right, bye, you guys.